So today's word is patch to sleep. So the conjugation of the present of this word is different from the infinitive word itself. So all you have to do is change the s to sh. You just add an accent here, and then a to i. So it becomes a shpi, shpian, ya shpian. Okay. Te shpi. The endings are the same always. On shpi without ending. Me shpi me ve shpi cha. On shpian. Okay, so this is the present. It's simple. We've talked about such such cases before, and we, as we always have said, um, that the past is always, almost always easier because all you have to do is remove. In many cases, remove the ending, and then add the wem wam wesh wesh and the ending, the normal ending of the past. So spawem, spawesh, spawa, spawishme means we slept. And this form is for the females, spawishme, spalishme for the males, okay? The future is also easy. All you have to do is no bende, benjes, bende, benjeme, benjece, which means I will be, for example, bende, ya bende, I will be, te benjes, you will be, she will be, or he will be, we will be, you will be, and then they will be. And then all you have to do is add the third uh, person in the whether it is in the singular or plural, depending on if it's singular and plural. For example, here, ja ben despau, I will be sleeping. If I was a girl, I would have said, ja ben despau, I will be sleeping as a girl. Uh, te ben despau, you will be sleeping. So I'm talking to a girl, telling her that she will be sleeping. Okay, the same here. Me benje me spawe, it means we are girls are saying uh, that we want to sleep. We will be sleeping, okay? And the same, benje che spawe, bendom spali or spawe, they will be sleeping. And then we have the conditional, which is, which, which comes from the same concept of the future. You're going to have to use the past, the third person, and then add in front of it, bim bish, b bish me bish che b. Okay, so when you say spawbem, it means that I would sleep, or I would like to sleep, um, depending on the context, of course, but the idea. And here, for example, spawbe, he would like to sleep, or he would sleep. Spali bishme, we would like to spi uh, sleep. Spawe bishme, we would like to spi uh, sorry to sleep, but we are girls saying this. We would like to speak to sleep. <laughs> Okay, so the imperative is easy. Why? Because it's the same as the present. So you have spish, te, spish, and then if you're ordering someone, you just tell them spi. So you add the j that we usually add for the imperative. So spi means go to sleep or sleep. Niech spi, let him sleep. Or make him sleep. Spi me, let us sleep. Spi cha. Uh, you are talking to a bunch of people to go to sleep, okay? When you say spiche. Niech spion, let them sleep or make them sleep or something of this sort, okay? Remember that the meaning here can really vary depending on the context, okay? But you will get this. You all know languages and you all speak, so it's, it's not going to be hard to know. So the gerund is spanje. So, as usual, we add nie at the end, so the sleeping process or spanie, like the sleep, the word, the noun of the word, of the verb sleep. Um, the iterative verb, this verb has an iterative verb, which means something that you do usually, and it is sypiać, okay? So, ja sypiam te sypiać, I'll talk about this maybe in another video. But it's also it, you need to know that it means that's something you do usually. For example, sepia usually when I take melatonin. So zwykle tylko sypiam kiedy biorę melatonina. Okay. So I only sleep when I take melatonin, or I only sleep when I take sleeping pills. So this is something you're saying usually. Okay. Or if you're saying I sleep regularly fast, you can say so I fastly go to sleep. 
I don't have problem with sleeping. So something of that sort. But you can that doesn't mean that you cannot use this in place of sipiach because you can just say the same thing. It would not maybe mean that you do this usually, but it doesn't mean that you have it that it wouldn't mean the same. So you remember when you're speaking the Polish language, it's it's different when when you are trying to um, explaining it or when you're trying to read a, uh, a book where there is written different types of verbs. So when you see sypiaś it means something is happening usually because it is an uh, iterative verb. So you got the idea. I'm not going to over talk. So that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Okay.